students today we are going to discuss about impels response of series rc and rl network first of all discuss about impels response of series rc circuit and here you can see in the figure there is a series rc circuit is shown rc network is here this connected to the supply which is uh, supply here is this impels function which is have a magnitude e and it is connected to the series rc circuit through a switch it is shown here and at the time t equal to 0 the switch will be closed at that mo moment the circuit will be closed one and the current i of t will be flowing through the circuit let us analyze this circuit and we can find out the response of this circuit corresponding to the excitation e into del of t which is the impulse so first of all when at the time t equal to 0 the switch will be closed so a current i of t flows through the circuit so at that moment we can apply the kvl to this circuit so you know the kvl total voltage will be equal to sum of the voltage drop across the circuit will be equal to 0 whenever the circuit is closed or we can write it as e into del of t will be equal to r into i of t plus c 1 by c into integral i of t into dt you know in the case of the capacitor when we are taking the voltage sources this is the input source e into del of t and the voltage drop across resistor is r into i of t and the voltage drop across the capacitor is equal to 1 by c into integral i into uh, dt so that is written here so the applied voltage is equal to sum of the voltage drop across each and every component that is shown here so when we are taking the we can use laplace transform in order to solve this type of equation because uh, in this equation there is an integral term so uh, this is a differential or integral a equation in order to change this equation into algebraic equation we can use laplace transform so we are taking the laplace transform of this equation so e into del of t is in the left side and you know Laplace transform of impulse function del of t equal to 1. So, here E is a constant. So, the Laplace transform of this function will be equal to E. E will be equal to R into Laplace R is a constant. Laplace transform of I of t is I of s. And here 1 by C is a constant. And here is a term integral I of t into dt. You know, in the case of the integration, Laplace transform of an integral function is equal to function in the uh, Laplace transform of the function divided by s plus initial condition that is the equation so here 1 by c is a constant Laplace transform of integral i of t is i of s by s plus initial condition is q0 by s which is the initial charge in the capacitors here we are assuming that initially this capacitor is uncharged or it is de-energized so this q0 will become 0 so the equation will become e equal to r into i of s plus 1 by z into i of s by s that is written here that is e is equal that is e is equal to r into i of s plus 1 by c into i of s by s and here you can take you know, you can see here in this equation i of s is common so i of s can be taken outside so you will get r plus 1 by z s into i of s equal to e here you can take r by s outside when we are taking r by s from this term here s s will come and here um, uh, a term 1 by rc comes see since we are taking r by s outside so this is the equation for e so to get the impulse response what is here the response here the response is current okay corresponding to the impulse input or excitation impulse excitation the response is current right so you have to find out the value of this current i of t here you have an equation connecting the input the e and output or response i of s so you have to find out i of t so for getting the value of i of t you have to take the inverse laplace transform before that you are rearranging this equation to get i of s okay so i of s will be equal to simply rearranging the uh, previous equation you will get i of s will be equal to e into s by r into 1 by s plus 1 by rc that is written here so this is equation for i of s Mm, so here you can uh, write this equation since this is of same order that is um, the numerator has this uh, order one and denominator also has the order one uh, because uh, so we can rearrange this equation um, by using um, 
uh, the, uh, this method that is uh, when we are having the same orders in the numerator and denominator we are simply dividing the numerator with the denominator so the division is shown here first of all we will divide uh, it with s by s plus and by rc so first one into this term will give you s plus rc here so one minus one by rc is the um, remainder so we can write this expression as one minus 1 by rc by s plus 1 by rc that is written here so we can write this i of s equation as e by r and instead of this term we can write this okay so that is 1 minus 1 by rc by s plus 1 by rc so this is an in the form of a known formula so we can easily take the inverse laplace transform to get the response so i of t will become see here this is shown here let us uh, assume that rc is a, uh, the time constant so we can re replace it with t so e by r into 1 minus 1 by t divided by s plus 1 by t and uh, the t is the time constant to get the e e response or impulse response we have to take inverse laplace transform so we will get i of t equal to e by r is a constant in inverse laplace transform of 1 is del of t and inverse Laplace transform of this term. You remember the uh, general formula. See here 1 by t is a constant. So 1 by t is taken um, outside. And here 1 it is in the form of 1 by s plus a. What is inverse Laplace transform of 1 by s plus a? Remember the equation. It is e raised to minus a t. So you can instead of a here it is 1 by t. So you can write e raised to minus 1 by t into t. So, equation of i of t is e by r into del of t minus e by r t into e raised to minus 1 by t into t. So, this is the impulse response of a series RC circuit for a constant impulse function. Okay. So, next we have to find out the impulse response of a series RL circuit. In the previous discussion, we have taken the series RC circuit. Here, we are taking series RL circuit. So, series RL circuit is shown here. And also this circuit is connected to the source by a switch k. And we are assuming that at the time t equal to 0, switch will be closed. In the initial charge is stored in the inductor. We are assuming that it is equal to 0. Whenever an impulse function is applied, a current is produced here. So here the response is current. So we have to find out the value of i of t. So let us start by writing the KVL equation. What is the KVL equation here? E into del of t is equal to R into i of t plus L into dA of t by dt. So, you should know to write the KVL equation of a closed circuit. So, for that you have to know the voltage drop across inductor, voltage drop across resistor, okay. So, um, that all are basic equations. Remember those equations, okay. So, this is the KVL equation for this circuit. So, um, next what we have to do is, this since this is in the form of, uh, there is a differential equation, differential term coming here, we have to convert it into algebraic equation, for that we are taking the Laplace transform of this equation. So, the Laplace transform of this equation, here E into del of t, what is the Laplace transform of this term, E is a constant, so E is taken outside and the Laplace transform of del of t is 1, so that is E, next is R into I of t, what is its Laplace transform? it is r into i of s plus what is laplace transform of this term l is constant there is a differential term what is the laplace transform of differential term that is uh, function laplace transform of the function into s minus initial condition that is equation here l is a constant so it is taken outside so uh, laplace transform of this differential term is i of s into s minus i of 0 we are assuming that initial charge stored in the inductor is 0 so the equation will become e is equal to r into i of s plus ls into i of s here i of s is common so we can take it outside so we will get e is equal to r plus ls into i of s we can rearrange the equation so we will get i of s is equal to e by r plus ls so what we have to find out is we have to find the impulse response so we want to find i of t so we have to take the inverse laplace transform so for that we have to um, change this term in a known formula here e is a constant and here if it is in the form of s plus a we can easily find out the inverse La uh, laplace transform so we are taking so we are uh, transforming this in the form of a s plus a form so 
uh, here L will be taken outside so it will become S plus R by L so E by L is a constant into 1 by 1 S plus R by L so inverse Laplace transform of I of S is I of T and uh, that is equal to E by L into what is this it is in the form of 1 by S plus A its inverse Laplace transform of is E raised to minus A T here A is R by L so we can write E by L into E raised to minus R by L into T this is the way we have to find out the impulse response of series RL and RC circuit. Once again, you can go through the um, steps. You will easily um, understand it uh, and to prepare notes. That's all about this topic. Thank you.